Keim mineral paints are a Bavarian invention rooted deep in the region's heritage. And Keim mineral paints have a rich tradition of quality and reliability. Granitol is a highly durable, silicate-based exterior paint that has been the choice of painting contractors for decades. Keim Granitol is the classic solution for architectural protection. In fact, many buildings in Europe that were coated with Keim paints in the late 1800s are still in excellent condition today. Keim silicate paints, like Granitol, are totally different from common organically bound paints. Organic coatings only stick to the surface through adhesive bonding. The binder in Keim Granitol reacts with the substrate. Granitol's binder is potassium silicate, also called water glass. This binder penetrates into the mineral substrate and by chemical reaction forms permanent bonds that are the strongest found in nature. Mineral raw materials and the specific bonding principle of Keim Granitol silicate paint offers several unique advantages. Granitol coatings are extremely durable. They are stable against ultraviolet rays, remain color fast, and will not fade over time. Granitol is both highly vapor permeable and water resistant due to the coating's unique mineral structure. This allows buildings to maintain a natural moisture balance, keeping walls dry. The wide range of available colors and the appealing matte appearance offers unlimited design options. The Keim Granitol system consists of Keim Granitol paint, the Keim Special Dilution to dilute the base coat, and the filling coat of either Keim Granitol Grob or Keim Contact Plus to match any differences in texture and to fill surface cracks. Keim Granitol can be applied to all common mineral substrates. The substrate should be examined before coating. There may be some surface preparation work needed before applying the product. On surfaces where center layers have formed, the substrate will need to be prepared before applying Keim Granitol. Center layers form a dense chemical sediment, or surface crust, that should be removed. New mineral plasters tend to form these center layers. This happens when there is a buildup of binding agents on the plaster. Center layers look like a shiny coating on the surface, shown here on the right. This layer turns into a thin, compact skin, which restricts the paint binder from penetrating into the substrate to form a strong chemical bond. This is why the center layers must be removed prior to coating. By scoring the plaster crosswise with a knife, we can see the difference in the way the surface absorbs liquid. When we compare a centered surface, on the right, with an uncentered surface, we can clearly see that the uncentered surface absorbs more evenly. Time lime remover is used to remove center layers. The lime remover should be mixed with water at a 1 to 3 ratio. This means mixing one part of lime remover to three parts of water. The lime remover can be applied by brush or by spraying a flood coat. Whichever method is used, it's very important to first apply the product at the bottom and work your way to the top. Afterwards, the treated surfaces should be washed down with plenty of water. A hose is recommended to thoroughly remove any particles and leave a clean surface. It is also recommended to work from the bottom to the top. The wastewater from this flushing process is harmless to humans, animals, and the environment. It is very easy to test the substrate absorbency with a water spray bottle. The length of the water runners shows the rate of absorption. When the runners are longer, as shown here, no preparation is necessary. But if the substrate absorbs the water very fast, indicated by very short runners, then the surface should be pre-treated with Keim Special Dilution. In this case, Undiluted special dilution is applied to the substrate using a brush method. 
A 12-hour drying time must be observed before it is coated with the base coat of paint. A sandy, chalking substrate is not suitable for coatings. For this situation, the substrate should be pre-treated with chyme fixative mixed in a ratio of one part fixative to two parts water. The substrate can then be prepared with this mixture. Apply the fixative and water mixture liberally to the plaster surfaces. This will require a drying time of at least 12 hours before applying the base coat. If your mineral substrate shows small cracks or differences in texture, these imperfections can be treated with a base coat of Chyme Granitol Grob or Chyme Contact Plus. Both products contain coarse grains that fill and level the surface. Here, we are demonstrating the application of Chyme Contact Plus. Chyme Granitol Grob is applied using the same methods. Before application, the material should be stirred and blended thoroughly, then diluted using Chyme Special Dilution. The dilution rate depends on the absorbency of the substrate. Dilution ratios can range from 5% up to a maximum of 20%. We recommend applying the Chyme Contact Plus and Chyme Granitol Grob with a brush for deeper crack filling and more even coverage. If a roller is used, it is important to generously apply the material equally across the surface. Cracks are filled most effectively by using the paintbrush in a crosswise motion. For substrates without cracks and with no difference in textures, use a base coat of Chyme Granitol. Prior to use, dilute the base coat of Chyme Granitol with special dilution. The material should be thoroughly mixed using the recommended dilution ratios based on the absorbency rate of the surface. Dilution rates can range from 5% to 20%. We recommend applying Chyme Granitol by brush or by roller. The material can also be applied using a professional airless sprayer and back rolled. Whichever method is selected, it's important to use high quality tools. Choose a paint roller with a long nap and a soft core for even application and maximum coverage. For spray application with an airless sprayer, the material should be applied equally across the surface. It is important to use a spray tip with a diameter of about 0.031 and a 20 mesh filter. Normally the top coat is applied undiluted. In some cases, special dilution may be used to dilute the top coat to a maximum of 5%. Apply the material generously using a brush, roller, or professional airless sprayer. Chyme Granitol and Chyme Mineral Paints are the classic solution for long-lasting architectural protection. Contact us today to learn how the family of Chyme Silicate Paints and related products provide durable painting solutions that can last for decades. <laughs>